Damn. How I crave your mouth, your voice, your hair, your skin, your smell, your touch. I prowl through the streams. Food does not nourish me. Dawn disrupts me all day. I hunt for the liquid measures of your steps. My memes reigned over you, stroking you. A long time I have loved the sun mother of pearl of your body, your spirit, until I even believed that you own the universe. I will bring you happy flowers from the mountains. I will bring you sacred medicines. Sage, cedar, tabanuco, tabaco, and rustic baskets of kisses. I want to do with you what spring does to the wild berries. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another day of Nemo's Vandal. In this video, we are installing our shore power system, a way that we can plug in from the outside and get power on the inside of the van. Off camera, we have already framed the ceiling and now we're going to frame the interior walls of the van. I use furring strips to build the infrastructure and then I applied the method of using a pocket jig so I can join these furring strips together. This method is the strongest method for joining wood together and cabinetry. Some support structures were drilled directly into the beams of the van using sheet metal screws and then glued in the back with construction adhesive. Afterwards, I checked and I noticed we got a very leveled placement of all the furring strips. Later during that week, a wonderful blessing came while visiting RUI. Just as a fluke, I found this power station on sale, an amazing sale, and I was able to talk down the price even more. Now, having acquired a power supply, I was now able to test my electrical system. So I went forward and got these puck lights that I want to install on the ceilings and under the cabinets to bring creative and warm lighting to the van. Testing the potency of the power supply and the lights was a success. Moving forward was installing the puck lights into the ship lap that would then be mounted on the ceiling. I took special measure to ensure that each light lined up very symmetrically. I used the recommended boring drill 
to bore a hole to a perfect fit of the pipe. Watch this. <laughs> you like that, huh? The two shiplap used were then stained, sealed, and ready to be mounted. The Pux lights were pre-wired to length. The wires were joined together by different types of connectors as necessary, depending on the location where they were being mounted. Come on, let the light get bright, let the light be. Et voilà, success. And that is it for this little video. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, ring the bell, comment. Thank you.